I'm here with Oliver Carson, and uh, you are um, the son of a friend of Norbert. Yes, yeah, I'm the son of Francis Carsten, who was good friends with Norbert. Yes, and you know Norbert since your early childhood. He used to be at, at my parents' house. I mm -hmm. never visited him in Leicester, still less in Ghana or in Amsterdam mm -hmm. or anywhere else. Yeah. But uh, he used to. He was a fairly regular visitor to my parents' house. They used to celebrate Christmas on the, even though they were obviously German Jews, they were non-practicing German Jews, mm -hmm. but they celebrated Christmas on the 24th in the evening. That was when they had their Christmas party. Okay, and there was a party, it was about... With few guests, with then, few and guests. the family and a few guests. Yeah. And Norbert was one of them. And like Norbert them. would often be one of them, yes. Ah, okay. And you later on, you personally had not much contact with uh, Norbert. Well, the last time, actually, I was at his 80th birthday party at the Ritz. Uh, mm -hmm. He invited, and mm -hmm. I don't even remember how many people. That must have, obviously, you can work out. It was in sometime in 1977. I was then a student in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, I was a student at Michigan. That's where mm -hmm. I did my Ph.D. studies. Mm -hmm. uh, But it must have been at Christmas time sometime when I was visiting my parents because I do remember going mm -hmm. and being at least impressed by the, I, may, I don't remember being impressed by the food, but I was certainly impressed by the surroundings. And it was very nice, of course, to be invited. Oh, yeah, very cool. Okay, um, I have read, um, there's, there's a, from a student of your father, Volker Berghahn, who yep. has written a lot about the biography. Yep. And he has written about that Norbert, uh, yes, your father had learned to be a law, lawyer in, yep. in Germany. Correct. And Norbert was the one who took him over to history, to push Or encouraged him. Encouraged yeah. him. Yeah, yes. there was, uh, again, I think that's also mentioned by my father in the Festschrift, that he and Nor after my father escaped from Germany, I guess that's the right word, via Switzerland, He, mm -hmm. um, then they met in Paris. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know what their previous connection was, yeah. um, because that's not very clear. They, they were, I, I read the same, and I think your father was connected to Richard Löwenthal? Correct. And so Richard Rick's Löwenthal was another good friend of my father, so they were both in Neubeginn ah, okay. together, yeah. uh, and my father had That's all, all in my father's sort of recollections yeah. and whatever. Um, and so that's probably, yeah, the mutual contact. And your father was a kind of communist at this time? or how No, he was, he, he was an anti-communist by this time okay. because um, Neubeginn was opposed to the uh, policy of yeah. social, the, the line of social fascism that was yeah. uh, promulgated by the Comintern. So my father yeah. was one of those who was saying that the communists, that basically he was a popular frontist at yeah. that time, that was the line, um, they should form an alliance with the Social Democrats Absolutely. to resist Hitler. But uh, Rix Löwenthal, he was, I think, the, the federal leader of German communist student groups, and he, then he was expelled from the Communist Party yeah, as, probably as being Probably on the, leader on of the, the same grounds. He, I don't think he was the leader of Neubeginn, and I can't remember, yeah. but he was certainly a, a great influence there. Yeah. yeah. So and, uh, your father also knew Ossip Flechtheim and this yep. Franz Borgnau and so this this was the connection because your father came from Berlin and Norbert came from Frankfurt and then yep. they met in Paris and probably by this uh, Neubeginn connection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So what are your personal collections, recollections of Norbert or his, uh, his appearance? Appearance? He <laughs> he looked very much like he does in some of those pictures, bald with glasses, mm. whatever. I don't think I don't remember him changing much in appearance. He's one of those people who looked middle aged and stayed looking middle aged. Mm. Maybe at the end, then he looked old. Yeah. He spoke with a very thick accent, much yeah. thicker than my father's, mm -hmm. who sort of prided him on not having an accent, even though when you listen to him, he did. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's um, an influence on the kind of history your father made on by Norbert? Or can, do you think you cannot judge this from, from your point? Well, my father was very much interested in social movements and whatever. Um, He wanted, I guess, in the origins of Prussia to yeah. trace back, I guess, yeah. in a way, the origins of uh, yeah. um, Nazi Germany to the, the Prussian state. He yeah. was interested in the authoritarian nature of that state uh, and so on. Um, 
yeah, and clearly that was the some of the impetus to do that came mm-hmm. from Norbert. I do remember a discussion about football, however, because yeah. obviously Norbert, I guess, got interested in the sociology of sport, yeah. um, and that was sort of somewhat amusing because Norbert was clearly one of the most unsporting figures one one could meet. He mm-hmm. wasn't interested in athletics as a personal thing but Mm -hmm. I mean so it was interesting that was probably slightly the source of humor and whatever but why would Norbert be interested in sports and spectator sports etc etc so somebody else who lived in in my parents house was Mm -hmm. George Lichtheim and I don't know Mm -hmm. if you you know that he so he was a um, Marxist journalist Mm -hmm. and intellectual historian Mm -hmm who wrote a lot of books about Marxism, and I, yeah, I can well imagine George in particular would have sort of scoffed at this kind of interest of Norbert's. Okay. And I think Norbert um, has written his book um, on the studies on Germ, yeah. and I, I think it's very similar to that what your father brought. Yeah, I mean, the, the other connection between uh, them is uh, um, Ilse Siglow, who was also... Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she and her son Peter were also regular visitors to yeah. my father, and I, yeah, I don't remember that whether they were all there on a particular mm-hmm. occasion, but I can well imagine again they would have. So that mm-hmm. sort of circle replicated itself in England. Yeah, yeah it's very interesting that they stayed in, in contact. They all stayed in contact. Yeah.